Jim, that's absolutely right. And I think my takeaway from speaking with folks who live in areas where Krasner is very popular and also those areas that see a higher instances of shootings is people want to give him a second chance, but they also just really, really want relief from all of this gun violence. The mandate in many ways coming from the people most affected by serious crime That's right. chooses a bright future. Progressive District Attorney Larry Krasner declaring re-election victory last night after winning 65% of the vote over challenger Carlos Vega, claiming a mandate from voters. We are going to continue down a path that joins a focus on really serious crime with the reform that is constructive for society. And while his opponent and the police union tried to lay an increase in violent crime at Krasner's feet, those who live on the front lines of the violence largely supported the incumbent. Take a look at these maps. Krasner won the areas of the city colored in light blue, clearly lining up with this map of neighborhoods with a high number of shootings. It's going to take for all of us to roll up our sleeve and to collaborate to address the senseless issue of gun violence. But at an anti gun violence rally in Elmwood Park tonight, one of the areas Krasner handily won, Tamika Cook was clear what she wants from her DA over the next four years. Actually, get the crime to go down. Let these people know that. You do the crime, you will do the time. Bassford Jamil Cuffey runs a youth basketball program in the neighborhood, and he hopes Krasner gets tougher. We living in fear, people living in fear, because they don't know when gunfire is going to erupt. The challenge facing city leaders crystallized tonight when a 15 year old was shot nearby just an hour after the event. We must invest like we never have invested before in a city that never has invested properly in prevention. A clear vote for continued reform amidst an urgent cry for relief. Now, of course, there is still a general election to come in November. Longtime defense attorney Chuck Peruto, he won the Republican nomination for DA. He says that he can win on a combination of Vegas supporters, Republicans, and more. But again, the challenge is that Democrats have just a huge voter registration advantage in the city of Philadelphia. So we'll be waiting and watching. Live from the DA's office, Danny Freeman, NBC 10 News. Thank you, Danny. According to the Philadelphia Police Department, 49 people under the age of 18 were shot in the city by this date in 2020. And so far this year, there have already been 77. 18 of them have been killed.